happy international day of mathematics to you guys so in this video we are going to be looking at a question which is from the topic center of mass the question reads show that the center of mass of the sector xyc is at a distance of 4 aeon pile from the bouncing radar so um, we see that today is the international day of mathematics and we are solving a problem which involves um, our constant pi so pi is approximately 3.14 the 3 there stands for the month of march and the 14 which is 14 stands for the day which is the 14th of march so happy international day of mathematics once more to you guys so we are going to get started with this question so this question we are going to um use integration to show this so the very first thing to do is that we are going to define our coordinate system because we need to find the distance of the center of mass of the sector x c y from the bounding radar so this is a sector whose center is at c all right so the radius of the sector is 3a and 3a as the radius is 3a because it's the distance from the center to any point on the second frames so the distance from c to x is 3a and the distance from c to y is 3a that is why we can see that it is a sector whose center is at c all right so um the first thing to do is that <clears throat> we define our coordinate axis so i'm going to go to where my center is and then i'm going to call the vertical axis and the horizontal axis to be y and x respectively now i'm going to call that point the origin you can call it anything you want but for um easy manipulations i'm just going to call it the origin now you see that since this is the origin the values to the right of my axis are going to be positive to the top positive to the left negative and downwards negative so it means if the distance from the origin to the point y is 3a it means that the point y is at the point um negative 3a same thing for the point x is at the point um with y coordinate negative 3a the point y is at a point with x coordinate negative 3a so we have negative 3a to 0 and um, the same thing here negative 3a to 0 with respect to the y axis so this is my coordinate system now um, the distance of the center of mass of this sector from the bounding radar we have the x coordinate and we have the y coordinate so we need to prove that both coordinates have the same value which is 4 on pi alright so we are going to use integration to find the centroid the coordinates of the centroid because the centroid is that point whose coordinates x bar y bar so um, our x bar is simply the integral from the bounding values of x x begins from negative 3a and ends at zero because you see that this um the the line bc is simply the vertical axis and our our um our sector gets or touches the vertical axis at this point so when x is equal to zero so our bounding values of x x begins from negative 3a and ends at zero all right so we have negative 3a to zero of x y dx divided by the integral from negative 3a to zero of y dx as the formula says so the first thing is that we are going to get the equation of our circle because we could complete this figure to get a circle so uh, let me just do a little demonstration we could actually try to complete right we try to complete this to get a circle and completing it to get a circle we simply see that the portion um x c that's this curve from x to c is simply um part of the circle but now it is a sector that is one part of the circle so we are going to get the equation of of, of the circle and then use that equation because that equation is y equal to f of x so we use it now then we use um, our formula to get our x bar and our y bar so the equation of the circle remember that the radius is 3a and it is centered at the origin so it becomes x squared plus y squared to be equal to 3a all squared if we simplify we get x squared plus y squared to be equal to 9a squared all right so we need to get y so y squared will give us 9a squared minus x squared but now what is going to be our y since my um, portion of my sector is actually below the x-axis because this is my x-axis so you see it is below the x-axis if you solve for y here you're going to get plus or minus the square root of 9a squared minus x squared but since this portion is below the 
um, x-axis i'm going to just consider the negative square root so y becomes negative the square root of 9a squared minus x squared all right so we have gotten y now we need to get um, what is the integral from negative 3a to 0 of y is x this simply defines us the area bounded by this curve from x equal to negative 3a right up to x equal to 0 and since this is the sector it means it is one quarter of a circle so the area of this sector defined by this integral is simply one quarter the area of the complete circle the circle has a radius of 3a so the area is pi radius squared but now we need to divide by 4 since we are finding the area of this sector so the integral from negative 3a to 0 is the area which is 1 quarter times pi radius squared so simplifying we get 9a squared on 4 times pi pi c comes in play all right so now we need to get the numerator of our x bar so the numerator is the integral from negative 3a to 0 of x y to x which is the integral from negative 3a to 0 of uh, our x y then um, our y is the negative square root of 9a squared minus x squared so we fit in there now i'm going to pair negative x the x together and then i allow the square root of 9a squared minus x squared now i'm going to do a substitution because uh, i can identify that if i integrate if i differentiate 9a squared minus x squared i'm going to have negative 2 x x so that is going to be my u substitution so i'm going to let u squared to be 9 a squared minus x squared i differentiate both sides differentiating the left hand side you get 2 u du and differentiating the right hand side you get negative 2 x x now we need u du or anyways we need negative x x because it is already part of our integral so negative x x becomes u du now we need to change our limits of integration x began from negative 3a and ends at 0 when x is negative 3a you see our u squared will be equal to 9a squared minus negative 3a all squared will give you 0 x ended x begins from negative 3a to 0 so when x is 0 our u squared will be equal to 9a squared our u will just give us 3a we take the positive value so this integral becomes the integral from 0 to 3a because our u are our u is the new variable so from 0 to 3a of you see that since u squared is 9a squared minus x squared then u is just the square root because uh, we are just taking the positive value since u is in the positive region we not take plus or minus since u is in the positive region from 0 to 3a a is a positive constant 0 to 3a then we just take the positive square root so our u becomes this um our uh, our this square root the square root of 9a squared minus x squared becomes u but we need to multiply that u with negative x x what is negative x x it is u du so you see that the u's multiply and you get u squared du when you integrate u squared you get u cube on 3 now from 0 to 3a you fit your limits and then you simplify you get the numerator of the x coordinate of the centroid to be 9a cube now we need um the x coordinate of the centroid it is the numerator divided by the denominator the numerator is what we have gotten and the denominator is the area of that sector so we simplify we get 4a on pi so the first is out now we also need to prove that the distance of the center of mass of this sector from the because this is the first bounding radar you see the first bounding radar is the line c x and then you also have y c or c y so we have gotten x bar so um, now we need to get y bar because it said bounding radar not bounding radius so we need to get for both x and for y now our y bar is simply the integral half times integral from negative 3a to 0 of y squared the x divided by the area still we have the area already so we are just left to find the numerator of y bar the numerator is half the integral from negative 3a to 0 of y squared the x now um, our y squared is simply 9a squared minus x squared so we have half the integral from negative 3a to 0 of 9a squared minus x squared if you integrate 9a squared you get 9a squared times x if you integrate x squared you get x cubed on 3 so it means um, our numerator becomes half in so this we fit our limits we fit the upper limit you are just going to get 0 minus 0 which is 0 minus the lower limit where you fit the lower limit and then you simplify you're going to get 9a cubed still so the y coordinate of the centroid is 9a cubed on the area so we see it still gives us 4a 
divided by five so um that is the end of the video thank you guys for watching happy international day of mathematics to you guys and see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you love the video make sure you like the video comments share the video with your friends